Hello everyone! We are the Gummy Bears, FLL Team 44355, now part of the FRC Team Mechanical Advantage 6328. In this video, we'll try to show you how to apply the basic machine learning techniques to help on complex navigation. So, why do we want to apply machine learning for FLL games? Well, as we noted in this year's mission analysis, the game map pattern has been changed significantly in the Masterpiece game board, and there's no such long straight signature lines for the robot to adjust its position anymore. Machine learning based navigation is one of the techniques my team developed to handle such situations. Another situation is when you start doing multitasking and completing multiple missions, the navigation generally gets very complex with the traditional stop, turn and go methods. The robot could build up lots of navigation errors and its consistency will be affected. Meanwhile, with machine learning, you could potentially reduce such a risk. We have successfully applied a basic machine learning based navigation in our super powered missions during the World Festival in Houston. However, before we dig into the details, I want to mention that this approach, even though it's very basic, it does require a bit of advanced knowledge. You'll need to know Python for robot programming, and you should be able to apply proportion controls for the robot navigation. You'll need to know data logging to help you record robot navigation data and use it for analysis. You also need to know how to use Google Sheets to import data, create charts, and use trend lines for data fittings. I'll show you a simple example with step-by-step -step explanations in the next few slides. There are four basic steps for machine learning. The first is to train the robots and record the navigation data. The second is to upload the data to Google Sheets for chart analysis. Third, use Google Sheets to make a trend line to fit the data using distance as the x-axis and gyro angle as the y-axis. Fourth, program the trend line equation onto Python. This is how the robot navigates to the museum with the traditional stop, turn, and go. The robot first goes straight towards the music concert, then stops and makes a 45 degree turn to the left, and goes forward a bit, stops and turns to the west, and continues to move forward towards the museum until it finally makes a turn to arrive there. Each section of the go straight and turn blocks has to be very accurate. Now let's see how we can apply machine learning to help navigation. We'll first create a Python data logging program to record the robot navigation data during the training. Here we record the distance traveled and the gyro angle or where the robot is heading. This recorded data will help to create a trend line to define the robot's navigation route. This is how you train your robot. First, you'll press the middle button to start the program. Now you're gonna guide the robot along the path that you want it to follow. Now that you have finished the recording, you're going to press the left button to stop it. All the data will be recorded onto the robot, which will then be downloaded onto the computer. The next step is to download the navigation data log from the robot to your computer. And then create a Google Sheets to import the data. After that, you select the columns of distance and gyro angle and insert a line chart to create plots for the distance versus gyro angle. Now we need to create a trend line from the recorded data. This is done in the customize option of the chart editor. First, you go to series, then you enable the trend line, then select the type as polynomial and select the polynomial degree. Normally, a higher degree is preferred. However, for EV3 due to precision, a degree of 5 is recommended. Finally, use the equation as the label and enable R squared. The trend line is colored red and it fits all the recorded data. The R squared indicates how good your trend line fits these data. From the trend line plot, we can easily find the trend line equations, which is in the title. It gives you a smooth curve that shows how where the robot is heading, which is the gyro angle, changes along with the distance it travels. Now we can implement the trend line equation into the navigation loop. Here, based on the distance the robot travels, we can use the trend line equation to calculate a target angle for where the robot is heading. Then we can measure the current robot heading angle and find the errors between the current one and the target one. We then apply proportion control to make sure the robot always follows the target angles by correcting these errors. Please note, 
Based on how we trained the robots, we might want to keep the gyro angle at zero for the first 300 millimeters and the last 100 millimeters. Now that we've finished the implementation of machine learning, let's see how it works.